Good afternoon. I'm Dennis Ward with a look at what we're working on for tonight. Jugmeet Singh is on Nation to Nation with host Todd Lamarant. The NDP leader and his party voted against a conservative motion yesterday. If passed, Prime Minister Trudeau vowed to call an election. Now a new conservative motion is on the table today with a vote on Monday. Singh said his party will support this one. So will Trudeau use it as an excuse to go on the campaign trail this fall? Before I move on, exactly what's your gut feeling? Do you think we'll have an election before Christmas? This is going to be a really, it's a really good question. I think this is going to be something that only the Prime Minister can answer. Like Justin Trudeau has the power to call an election. We've shown with when it comes to actually getting help to people throughout the pandemic, a lot of the work that we did to bring forward help for students, for example, that was passed unanimously as well. The, the, the fight we brought, the, fought, uh, the fight that we fought to bring in paid sick leave for all Canadians, that was also something that we, we fought for, but we got all party support to pass. So it seems to me very clearly if it's about helping people, we were able to make government work. Uh, but if the prime minister is just hell bent on finding a way to go to an election, then he'll find a way to do that. And you can catch that full episode right after the APTN National News this evening. A handful of high-end restaurants in Montreal have committed to pulling lobster off their menus in a show of solidarity with the Mi'kmaq, something they only started doing after a Mohawk woman from Ganawage asked them to. Ganawage and Ganasatage both mobilized quickly in support of Mi'kmaq fishermen, even staging rolling blockades over the weekend. Bagara Nahawi Goodleaf wanted to take it a step further. Taking a cue from residents in Halifax, she has several Montreal-based eateries to stop selling settler-caught lobster. Joe Beef chef David McMillan says all five of his restaurants stand in support. Chef Chuck Hughes is doing the same at his restaurant, Garde Manger. To me, there's, there's always a way to so, show some type of support, whether it's just sharing articles or even calling restaurants yourself to try to, um, you know, get involved. Uh, I had a lot of people from my community message me saying that they were willing to um, help to call different restaurants too to get on board so they could have, uh, so there could be more people reaching out to different restaurants. And I thought that was really cool. And that is just a brief look at what we have coming up for you tonight on the APTN National News at 6 Eastern and Mountain Time.